Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting Sparks Toyota, and I'm checking out a 2017 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road. Now these particular vehicles are not very common to find on the dealership lot, so let's go ahead and check it out. This TRD has 17 inch Bridgestone tires wrapped around alloy wheels, 17 inch. It also has four wheel disc brakes with ventilated disc rotors on all four wheels. The name of this color is nautical blue metallic. And check it out, he even has a hood scoop here in the front and projector halogen headlights and reflector headlights for your high beams. And it has a reflector halogen fog light most of the front end is the same color as the vehicle, the blue color. But here in the grill, there is a black, like a satin black grill and a silver bumper here on the front. The off-road name wouldn't mean too much if it didn't have the tow hooks here on the front and some skid plates. And of course, a four-wheel drive. The spare tire is located underneath the vehicle here in the back. It also has front and rear stabilizer bars, as well as a locking rear differential. Here's a quick view of the front suspension. So you can see the stabilizer bar there, and then you have the, uh, the strut tap, the strut going up from the A-frame up to the body. And then the CV axle for your four-wheel drive control. Or for your four-wheel drive drivetrain, I should say. This vehicle has a privacy glass in the back. All the back glass is basically the privacy glass. Now the dealer did tint the front windows to match the back. And you'll notice it has the silver roof racks there. Then you have some silver badging. Body colored handles, as well as the fender flares, the mud flaps here at the bottom for the front and rear. Fuel doors on the driver's side, has a pretty traditional fuel cap with a place to hang it. Has the shark fin antenna at the very top center. Has a spoiler here in the back with a third brake light. You also have a winch, a, a, a wiper under here that's hidden, so it kind of extends out. But in general, when you're not using it, it's completely hidden underneath that spoiler. Really nice. Your backup camera is located right in here, a little bit offset, just in this area here, and a towing package. Tail lights are a combination of LED and standard bulbs. Taking a look on the inside, starting with the passenger side door, first thing I notice, with I see this in TRDs, is the contrast stitching here in the red. Really nice. Soft to the touch surfaces here on the arm, all around the arm, all the way up to the top. Some more contrast stitching there. You have a little storage shelf place. It's really convenient, it's right where you would uh, Really easy to get to and easy to see. Then you have the uh, the bottle holders and storage space at the bottom, but check it out. The window controls and door lock controls are up here, really easy to see and get to. There's your threshold, floor mat hooks in place, cloth seating surfaces. Center portion is a little textured, and on the ends here is a smoother cloth. Manually adjust the seat here on the passenger side. You have a handle for entering the vehicle and a lockable glove compartment. So let's go ahead and check that out. It's all smooth plastic on the inside and your cabin filter is actually located there in the back. All right, the back door here has the same soft touch surfaces, contrast stitching, all the same as the front. Even has that little mid shelf and storage pockets at the bottom. 
There's the threshold. Now it has a pretty much of a bench seat back here with the latch system for car seats, but check it out. Plenty of room for three passengers back here and a slight hump here in the center. Not too big of a deal. You do have some power supplies back here as well as some vents. Net pockets on the back of the front seats. There's an armrest and some cup holders that folds down in case you need to use those when you don't have a center passenger. And these seats will fold down. This portion lifts up. This is a 60-40 uh, split fashion, so you can have a combination of cargo and passenger. So you can still have a passenger and have a seat uh, stored down. So let's go ahead and put this one down to give you an idea of what it looks like and how to do it. That one folds down. Kind of goes here like that. So now we have a much bigger cargo space. So even with me holding a camera in one hand and doing it with the other hand, I was still able to do it. It's not that hard and it gives you almost a flat surface. So this portion lifting up gets out of the way so this one can go down further and giving you more of a flat surface in line with the back. And also you can see with latch anchors right here in the back of the seats. Okay, looking at the cargo area. Now this is also the party area, I would say. It has some lights back here, two of them actually, which you can turn on and off uh, with the door or you can turn off if you want to do that. But also speakers. So you have some speakers back here. So you can open this up, kind of hang out back here and have a good time. Tailgate with some friends, have a picnic or whatever. It is, even has a 400 watt AC adapter outlet three prong outlet like you'd find in your house you can plug in a radio or charge a laptop or cell phone that kind of thing and then you have a 12 volt power supply little shelf right there to put some stuff and look at that even more space for your stuff here on the side has a little shelf on this side it also has the tie downs on all four corners this opens up uh, revealing your tools for your spare tire, your tool and jack for your spare tire. And I guess you can actually put some stuff in there if you really needed to. Kind of put some small stuff out of the way. So you can pretty much see that even with the seats up, you still have a massive amount of cargo space. Look at that. Now I'll put all the actual details and specs and everything in the description, but I want to give you a visual reference of what I'm looking at. It's really nice. And you can of course have accommodation. So if you just want to fold that seat down or both seats down, uh, you can do so while maintaining some passenger space when needed. Okay, let's take a look under that hood. Real simple opening the hood. There's a little latch right here, here in the center. Move it to the left. Doesn't take much effort. Lifts up to a certain point and it goes up the rest of the way by itself and it holds itself. You don't have to have a prop or anything like that. All right, so the power plant in this bad boy is 270 horsepower, 4.0 liter V6. Beast of an engine. There's your battery. It's kind of covered up with plastic, but I think you get the idea. Actually, you can see some metal over here. I want to actually see some metal when I lift the hood. It does have an insulated firewall. Everything's looking all awesome. I love the look of uh, brand new vehicles, which Toyotas tend to look brand new for a long period of time. Now this engine is paired to a five-speed automatic transmission and it's electrically controlled five-speed transmission. Driver's side door looks just like the other side, except for it has a few more buttons. All auto, so all four windows are automatic. One touch down and one touch up. That's nice, they go up and down quite fast. And your door lock controls and all that are here. You can adjust your side mirrors with this little pad here. You just pick a side and you can adjust it here. Interior gauges, dimmer switches right in there. You also have a heater for your windshield wipers here in the front. So you can turn that on and it heats up a spot where the, the windshield wipers, I don't know if you can see the little heater in there, but where the windshield wipers rest on the glass, it heats up that spot and breaks loose any ice that might be holding the windshield wipers down, which is nice. 
And then you can turn on your 400 watt AC adapter in the back um, right here. It does have a foot actuated parking brake. Power seat here for the driver, they're always special. They get the special stuff as well as a power lumbar adjustment. Steering column, it tilts and it also telescopes. Kind of hard to do it from my angle, but it does telescope in and out. And once you get it into the position, you just lock it in place. Okay, taking a look here on the inside. Sitting in the driver's seat is a very comfortable seat. I have it all adjusted with the lumbar adjusted and all that. Um, I could put my feet completely straight out almost. I'm six feet tall. My knee room is really good and just overall comfort. I actually have the seat a little bit further back than what I would actually uh, drive with, so it does have plenty of room. Steering wheel, it's a leather wrapped with the perforated portions here on the ends and then the smooth, pretty much traditional leather texturing here on the top and bottom. And it's a good thickness. Uh, the bottom portion is a little bit thicker than the top, it feels like, maybe it's my imagination. But overall, it's a good thickness and comfortable and high quality feeling, soft to the touch steering wheel. So you have your Bluetooth controls here on this side with voice recognition. You can also change through information on the display up here, which I'll, we'll get to in just a minute. Left side, you have your audio controls. So you can adjust your volume, change your audio source, say AM, FM, things like that. Right over here, you can go up and down on your presets or change through your tracks, going left and right, and make selections here, and then go back, which is nice. Your cruise control is here on the back side, kind of hidden right in there, but it's really easy to get to with your hand, your right hand as you're driving. Um, you get used to it, and it's perfect. Your front and rear wiper controls are on the right. Turn signal and your headlight controls are here on the left. It does have the ability to turn right off the daytime running lights, and then you have them on, parking lights, and then on, like so. And then you have your fog light controls here. Okay, check out the gauge cluster. You have your RPMs there on the left side. And then on the right side, I like that little blue background accent. That's really cool. And then the RP your speedometer on the right. Of course, you have a digital speedometer in the middle when you want to use it. And then your engine coolant temperature and your fuel gauge there in the very center top. Odometer is on the little screen here. You also have the outside temperature and how many miles the vehicle has. And what ve which direction the vehicle is facing. So right here, a little S showing the vehicle is actually facing south. So that's a digital compass. So getting some more information here, I can push this display button here on the steering wheel and kind of cycle through and get some more information. Uh, so this little guy right here shows us that the, when we open up the door, has a little visual representation of the vehicle and when we open up a door shows what's open what's not you can go into settings and there's quite a few settings we'll just kind of forget about that it has a blank screen then you have the average miles per gallon which is not uh, typical right now because it's a new vehicle sitting in the lot current miles per gallon as you're driving a little bar will show up there as you're driving uh, cruising range how long you can drive before you have to get fuel uh, elapsed time which is like a timer you can reset that and then it goes back to your digital speedometer. So it kind of has some information there on the screen when you want to use it. I really like the fact that it has a separate digital clock from the screen, so that way your eyes know right where to look. You don't have to find it on the screen. And it's really easy to adjust right here with the, uh, the minutes and hour buttons. Four-way flashers are right here. Has a traditional volume knob tuned through the stations and traditional CD player. Has a touch screen, but also some physical buttons here on the outside. So you can go into your, audio. right now we're in the FM radio. There's different audio sources here, AM, FM, satellite radio, CD, USB, Bluetooth audio, and auxiliary input. Uh, your apps, this is where you can go into your navigation, see what the map looks like here. Kind of zoom out a little bit here to give you an idea. We're at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina at Sparks Toyota. There's the ocean and we're not very far away. See so audio, you can pair your phones, um, you can set up all kinds of different settings in here. You can also look at your uh, weather, but check this out, I really like this. The maintenance tool, so this is a screen in which you can uh, set reminders for rotating the tires, changing the oil, uh, doing your brake pads, your wipers, coolant, brake oil, all this stuff. So that way it's really easy, you don't have to keep track of it. Uh, separately, it goes right here on the screen and when you have it done, the dealership will go ahead and, and, and reset the, uh, the reminders here for you. 
really, really good feature because it's all about, the longevity of a vehicle is all about proper maintenance and, and this is a way of helping you out with that. It also has a home screen. So this is kind of a split between your radio, your phone, and a little navigation map, which is nice. Okay, so I like the way they have these nice big knobs, easy to get to. You have your fan speed, your temperature for your climate control here, and where you want the air to blow there in the center. Turn your air conditioning on, recirculate the air, and your front and uh, your defrosters for your rear, but also it turns on your heated side mirrors as well. But you notice that not everything's nice and big and easy to understand, easy to read, and easy to, to control, even with gloves on. So down here, 12 volt power supply. There's your auxiliary and USB ports here for your radio. Storage pocket goes in there quite a ways, and there's another one down here. There's a cup holder, a little storage spot. There's your four-wheel drive shifter to engage your four-wheel drive positions. And here's your five-speed automatic transmission shifter. And let's go ahead and put it in reverse. We can check out the backup camera. And it has the fixed guidelines there in the center. It's neutral, drive, and then you can change through the gears by putting it in sport mode and cycling through the gear ratios like so. This is really awesome, check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and move, aim the camera back here so you can see what I'm talking about. This opens up the entire rear glass in the tailgate. Isn't that awesome? Love it. And it goes quite fast too and quiet. So you can control that right here. And then you have another cup holder, but you notice it has this open space here so you can put cell phones or whatever you want to use this. And it, it keeps this portion open uh, so that way it can extend into that cup holder when you need to. And this has a rubber, removable little rubber thing that you can clean. Uh, or you could just completely take it out to accommodate for different size cups or different objects, objects that you want to put in here. Here's your center armrest. It does have the contrast stitching in it. It's very soft and it's big enough to share with your passenger, I think. It's up to you. And then this lifts up and you have a storage place right here. I guess you could put some tissues or whatever in that, that lid, a place to put a pen. And a big storage compartment. Look how far it goes down in there. It has a little divider that you can move around. It also has a uh, 12 volt power supply and a little place to put some coins. Place to put wires in and out of the compartment right here, just a little tiny spot to put the wire in and out. Okay, there's your uh, rear view mirror. It's manual for your day and night mode. Up here we have the crawl control adjustments, the locking diff, and the traction control off button. So sometimes you need to turn off the traction control in case you need to spin tires if you get stuck or whatever you need to turn that off otherwise you will not allow you to uh, to do what you want to do and your interior lights you have little tap lights up here and all that visors have mirrors and lights in them okay so let's look in the back again at the visibility So you can see there's lots of lots of windows, easy to see out the back. Even though I do have one of the seats down, but I think you get the idea. There's plenty of glass to see out of. The headrests really kind of line up with the pillars in the back anyway. And I'll, there, I kind of quickly went through this vehicle. There's a lot of stuff to show off more. I mean, there's a lot of details, a lot of specs that I'm going to put in the description in case you want to dig a little bit deeper. But I want to just kind of give you a visual representation of the vehicle as if you're here and you could, as you're looking at it. Uh, so you can get an idea of what it is all about. But uh, it does have a very advanced four-wheel drive system. And um, all the specs and the measurements and the volumes and all that stuff will be in the description. So you can check it out in more detail. So thank you for watching and thank you to Sparks Toyota here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for allowing me to show off another awesome vehicle. And I'll see you guys next time.